So the attendance of the class is 24, okay. Uh, maybe some few students cannot go in inside, maybe some of the network problem. So maybe another five students. So never mind, we just start our class. Okay, in this uh, session, we will investigate the next topic that we call as uh, numerical integrations. So uh, I was informed that uh, the lecture part does not yet cover this topic. So I have to go through a bit of the theory so that you can comprehend the topic before we perform the uh, octave coding. Yeah? So I will share the, the screen. I hope uh, all of you can see the screen and also hear my voice. Boleh ka? Yes, sir. Boleh, sir. Boleh, sir. Boleh, sir. Okay, we start our class uh, with this topic, numerical integrations using Octave or MATLAB. So uh, I think most of you know about integration, especially when you do your calculus topic. Okay? So integration is symbolized by this symbol. Okay, uh, and uh, the integration will be started from lower limits. So let's say the lower limit is A, and ended by the upper limit, maybe we can put as B. Uh, usually we try to integrate a function, yeah? Let's say the function is fx, and we respect to the variable of that we want, which is x, dx. Okay, so uh, this fx, we call it as integrand, integrand, integrand function. So the function that you want to integrate, we call it as integrand function. Okay, and in this uh, topic, the output of this integration, we will put it as a symbol of i. Eh? i means integration. So uh, in your calculus, I think most of you have done some exercises on integration. Let's say the function to be x, eh? you want to differentiate, uh, integrate to x. So maybe you know the formula for it. So this is will be x squared over two plus c. I think most of you can do, can do this. Eh? So why I put c here? Because I did not put any lower limits and upper limits. Eh? So if I put lower limit and upper limits in the integration, then the constant c will be diminished. Eh? will be vanished from the expression. Let's say if I have a trigonometric function, the integral function to be trigonometric. So if you integrate this using a trigo function, then you will get cos x plus c. Okay, so maybe some of you will uh, try to ask on your own, why we need to perform numerical integration if we have already the formula to find the integration. Exactly. Okay. Why we need to use numerical integration if let's say I put the function of integrand to be something like this. So I will ask you, can you perform this integration by using calculus? Okay. Most of you maybe we'll say that you cannot perform this integration directly using calculus. However, we still need to find the value of this integration. So the only way to get or to estimate the value of this integration is only to do numerical integration. That is only the way that we can do to estimate, eh? not to get the exact value, but to estimate only the integration value of this. So that's why we have to learn this numerical integration in your subject. Right? Okay, there is some introduction on numerical integration so that we can uh, understand uh, the philosophy behind it, why you study the numerical integration. Okay, the starting point of view, we have to know the cost learning outcome for this week. So the learning outcome will be to perform numerical integration using trapezoidal rule, okay, where this trapezoidal rule can be subdivided into two cases. 
The first one is the single trapezoidal rule. And the second one is the multiple trapezoidal rule. Okay. Secondly, you have to run and write octave code so that it can execute Simpson 1 over 3 rule. Eh? This Simpson, I spell it wrongly, it should be S-I-M-P-S-O-N, not S-O-M, eh? Simpson. And this is also divided in similar cases where you have single Simpson 1 over 3 rule and multiple Simpson 1 over 3 rule. Okay. And the last one is to execute Simpson 3 over 8 rule, where you have also single and multiple. Okay. So we have three learning outcomes to be done in this week. So just want to know, can you hear my voice? Does, does my voice can be hear clear, clearly? And there's no lagging? Boleh? Okay. Cuma dengar suara you agak uh, sayu, sayu, sayu di situ eh. Mungkin tak tahulah saya punya mic yang slow ke atau mic awak yang slow. Saya tak pasti. Tapi suara awak sayu-sayu je tadi. Okay. So, this is uh, my plan on teaching this subject so that you can comprehend it because uh, the lecture is not yet covering this topic. So, I will uh, give you the definition of integrations and what is the real meaning of this integration or in other words what is the interpretation of integration in this subject then we will proceed with the very traditional method called as trapezoidal rule where i will cover about the single trapezoidal rule and after we understand the concept then we proceed with the trapezoidal rule but extending it to multiple and after we understand these two methods, trapezoidal single and trapezoidal multiple, we will extend our further knowledge to this uh, advanced algorithm called as Simpson 1 over 3 rule and Simpson 3 over 8 rule covering the single and also multiple. Okay, So we will uh, understand the concept behind it. Before we proceed to the last topic, to perform one example uh, for integration using the given knowledge and that will be done by, will be done by Octave, eh? Octave code. Okay. So as I said before, we have to know the real meaning of integration. So integration usually is denoted by this operation where you have to use this symbol, okay? And you have the lower limits A, where it is depicted by this line. This is the lower limit when X is equal to A. And ended by upper limits B, which is depicted by this diagram. This is your X is equal to B. Okay. And your function Fx. Eh? Your function Fx is the integrand function that you need to integrate. So this is your function, y is equal to fx. And by uh, hidden, this function in actual is fx minus 0 that you cannot see. Actually, there is 0 here. So what is the meaning of 0 here? This is what we call as 0. And this line we call as y is equal to 0. So this y is equal to zero is actually inserted here hiddenly, but it is uh, assumed to be not there. So it is understood that you know that this problem is to find integration bounded by this line, bounded by this line, bounded by this curve, and zero, the default one that is not given uh, by this line. So that is meant by this symbol in natural. And what is the interpretation of this integration? The actual interpretation is to only find the area under the graph that is bounded from x from A until x to B. So by looking on this graph, in natural one to find the area of this hash section. So this hash section is bounded by the lower limits, the upper limits, 
the integrand and also zero that you cannot see. So that is the meaning of integration, which is only to find the area under the curve. Okay. Hopefully you still remember your mathematics in uh, form five. And I just give you some uh, different aspect point of view, how you interpret uh, integrations. Okay. So traditionally, we can find the area under the graph using this very old method, eh, which is called as trapezoidal. And as the name implies trapezoidal, we try to find the area based on trapezoidal shape. Okay. And in this method, we have two subdivision. The first one is single trapezoidal rule. Second one is the multiple trapezoidal rule. So the first picture here showing you the meaning of single trapezoidal rule. Okay, what is meant by this? If let's say you are required to find the area under the curve y is equal to fx, and remember that this is y equal to zero that is hidden, and it is bounded from lower limits x is equal to a, and upper limit x is equal to b. So in order to estimate this area, you can use single trapezoidal rule by introducing one dot here that is the intersection between the lower uh, the the lower limit and the 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 straight line here yeah? and another one introduce another points here and your job is only to uh, connect these two points by a straight line eh? by a straight line this is a straight line Okay, so in order to find the area or to estimate the area, we can use this trapezoidal shape, okay, which is this one, and we can find the area of this trapezoidal to estimate the area of under the graph. Okay? So you may see that by using this method, it is not accurate because it is overestimate the area. As you may see that there is uh, there is one area here which is not counted or uh, deducted by the by the single trapezoidal method however this is a good method to estimate the area okay so that is single trapezoidal rule secondly in order to improve this problem yeah, because we have a lot of error here why not we divide the same area by using multiple trapezoidal area. Let's say in this case, I'm using three equal trapezoidal area. Okay, you may see that this area, okay, the first trapezoid, the second area, and the third area is divided by three equal trapezium. And in order to find the total area, it is only by adding up the area from the first trapezoid, I1, which is this one, plus the area by the second trapezoid, and the third one. So you may see that the, the area that uh, will be developed here will be less than the single trapezoidal method because the the area is the area of error will be reduced eh? you may see that it's only here only that is uh, overestimate but the rest you have some area but very very small eh? so the the error from using this formula or this approach will be less than this and uh, of course in order to get much more better area you can subdivide this area to uh, a lot of equals trapezoid and eh? maybe in this case you are dividing by three so in order to increase the accuracy maybe you can divide into six ten one hundred one million it's up to you and you can get a better solution of the area by using trapezoidal method okay uh, can you follow the lecture Boleh ya? Tak ada masalah suara terganggu, ada suara delay tak ada ya? Okey, okey. 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 Okey.
Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, so in order to develop what is the formula to find what is the formula to find the area uh, for single trapezoidal method and the second is for multiple trapezoidal rule we have to know how to find the size of the interval okay so what is meant by size of interval or h is the width of this trapezium this is your h so for single trapezoidal rule logically when this line is b and when this line is a so the width of this is all the it will be minus a okay and if it's multiple trapezoidal rule Let's say I dividing the trapezoid into n number of equal trapezoidal. So h here is to here. This is your h. Eh? This is your h. This is your h until n of the interval equal is h. So logically, h can be found by deducting your upper limits b with your lower limits A and divide how many intervals here, yeah, which is N. So that's why you can use this formula actually for both cases. Because in this case, your N is only equal to one. And that's why H is only B minus A over one, that you get B minus A only. Okay? So this is a general formula to get your width of uh, trapezium before we develop the formula for uh, numerical integrations. Okay? So if you understand this, we can proceed to the next slide showing you how to get the area. Okay, so in order to know how to find the area for a single trapezoidal rule, we have to remember this formula from your, maybe from 6 or maybe your Form three, okay? the area of trapezium, okay? the area of this trapezium is only half of the width, if you still remember, half of the width, the width is this, and multiplied by the summation of your height number one and height number two. Okay? So I have to multiply here with height number one, the left side height plus the height on the right side, which is height number two. So I will apply this concept to this diagram, this diagram, okay, where the formula will be the area half of the width. So the width here is H, okay, and times with the summation of the height. So the, the height here. If let's say this is x is equal to a, so the height here will be fa, isn't it? This is your fa. Okay. Plus the height on the right side here, if this value is x is equal to b, then the height here will be fb. Okay. And if I rearrange the formula, as you know that h for single trapezoidal rule is B minus A only, and you get F A plus F B, and the formula will be expressed by this. Okay. So that's how you find the the uh, you find the area, approximate the area by using single trapezoidal rule. Okay, so maybe uh, hopefully you can understand this very basic concept. Now I want to extend this single trapezoidal rule to multiple trapezoidal rule. Okay, so let's say the same diagram, the same graph, I want to approximate the area. However, I divided it into n equal of intervals. Okay, so you have, uh, this is your h. This is your h. H are all the same because they are equal. Okay. So how to find the area? 
we can find area by adding up the area of the individual uh, interval. Eh? This is the interval number one area, interval number two. And remember that to find the area of interval number one, you can use this formula. Eh? Because the integration for this area, eh, this area is integration from the lower limit, which is x0, until the upper limit x1 and the function here is fx which is shown by this so similarly if you apply to the second uh, interval where the lower limit is x1 and upper limit for second interval is x2 then you can find what is area of i2 and so on until i n okay? until i n and if you apply the same formula that you have obtained before, which is this one, to each of the interval, eh, which is interval 1, interval 2, interval 3, until interval n, which is depicted by this, and you do simplification, and you group the terms, and at the end of the day, you will find this formula for multiple trapezoidal rule, where the h value here is given by b minus e over n, where b is your upper limits, a is the lower limits, and n is the number of equal interval eh, that you use to uh, to get the area of your uh, graph. Okay, so here you have f x naught. So this is your f x naught. Eh, this is x naught. So I change here a here to x naught. This is your x1, x2, x3, until xn, and the value before xn will be xn minus 1. Okay. So for the time being, can you follow this? Can you follow? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, before we proceed with the next part after this, I want to uh, make you understand the problem in MATLAB coding or octave coding that dealing with indices zero. Okay. I have indices here x zero, which is cannot be accepted by octave. So we have to change this to be x one. Okay. So if I change this formula, that will be i is equal to h over 2 fx1, not x0, eh? plus 2 summation from i from 1. Remember that your indices now will be uh, shifted from 0 to 1. So I have also to shift this one to be 2. So here i is, is from 2 until n minus 1, we have to add 1 here. So until n, fxi plus, remember that this also has to be added by 1, so plus fxn plus 1. This is the formula that you will use to code in octave. But in your assignment or in your test or in your uh, final exam, if you have final exam, uh, maybe next semester, you have to use this formula. Okay. But for octave, you have to use this formula. Okay? Because we have to shift each of the indices to 1. Okay? From 0 to be 1, from 1 to be 2, from n to be n plus 1. Okay, so if you understand this, we can proceed with the next part after this that we call as advanced method for calculating the area, which is using Simpson 1 over 3 rule and Simpson 3 over 8 rule. Why we need to use this method? Because this method will provide you better solution, better integration approximation. Why it is better, I will uh, describe to you after this. Okay, if you remember from the previous lecture, 
from the previous slide. If you want to, in, to find the area of this graph, we can use single trapezoidal rule where you introduce one point here and another point here. And I will use a straight line to, to estimate the area. And this is not so accurate. Eh? This is the single trapezoidal rule. This is not accurate. Why? Because you introduce a lot of errors, yes. So that's why Simpson proposed one method called as one over three rule. Why not? He said, we introduce one midpoint just at the midpoint that divide the area into two equal area. So, and after that, we, can, uh, we connect the three points by a curve, not straight line, but a curve of a second order, second order polynomial. The, the, the difference from the single trapezoidal rule, you are using straight line, but in the Simpson one of the rule, you connect it by a curve. Eh? And the curve is defined by second order polynomial. So logically, the area will be much more better. Eh? Because the curve will reduce the error and also the introduction of the midpoint also will divide the area so that the error will be reduced. So that is meant by Simpson 1 over 3 rule. And this is single. Eh? Okay, in order to improve this, Simpson also proposed another method called as single Simpson 3 over 8 rule. And how to improve it? He said, why not we introduce another two points inside the area and that interval, uh, the additional point will subdivide this area into three equal areas. And we connect those, those all points by a curve with the third order polynomial. So you may see that by using third order polynomial should, should be that line will fit this point of data. Eh? If you still remember your curve fitting, if that point is fit by higher order of equation, it will fit the line, eh? it will fit the points. So same case here, it will fit the, the data and provide better area if you compare with the Simpson 1 over 3 rule. So that is the basic meaning of Simpson 1 over 3 rule and Simpson 3 over 8. And I'm just talking about single, eh? single, not yet multiple. Uh, meaning that single for Simpson 1 over 3 rule is divided to two equal areas. For single Simpson 3 over 8 is to divide the same area but three equal areas. That is meant by single. Okay, if you understand that, we can proceed with the next part where you use uh, uh, formula to develop the formula for single Simpson 1 over 3 rule. So if you refer to your textbooks, I don't want to repeat uh, the derivation from your textbooks, and you know that the distance from here to here is H. Okay, and because that uh, H will divide the actual area into two, Logically, H will be B minus A divided by 2 because we have two equal areas here. And if you perform uh, some calculus, the area under the graph can be approximated by this formula or this formula, and the value of these two formula will be the same. Okay? The first formula is mentioned in terms of H, but the second formula in terms of B minus A, and in order to convert this equation to this equation, we can substitute this H is equal to B minus A over 2 to this equation, then you get this, this formula. Yeah. And remember that we have to know the meaning of X naught, yeah? X naught will be the first X value, X1 will be the middle value, 
X2 will be the final or the upper guess, uh, not upper guess, the upper X value. Okay, so you have to find Fx0, which is this one. This is your Fx0. This is your Fx1, okay. this, this point, and this one is your Fx2. Okay, that is single Simpson 1 over 3, uh, three rule. Next is the formula to find for single Simpson 3 over 8 rule. And remember that this is your H. Because that H will divide to three equal areas. Logically, H is B minus E over 3. So the area under the graph based on that approach will be this or this. It's the same thing. Okay. This in terms of H, okay. where your H is equal to this. And if you substitute this into this, then you can get the same formula in the blue color here. Okay. Remember that this is your X0, this is your X1, this is your X2, this is your X3, okay. as given by this formula. So the formula gets the name 3 over 8 because uh, the first formula you have coefficient 3 over 8. So that's why this call as single Simpson 3 over 8 rule. Uh, because you have 3 over 8 in front of this formula. So now I'm still talking about single, eh? single Simpson. Next is to define multiple Simpson 1 over 3 rule and remember that in order to use this method we can divide our curve you see this is your oops this is your x equal to a this is x equal to b we can divide this area by multiple of 2 so meaning that i can divide into 1 2, 3, 4, eh? because when n is equal to 4, 4 is multiple of 2, so we can get a better area. So maybe you can divide also this into 6, 8, 10, and so on, and each of the h value can be defined by this formula, and if you perform this uh, mathematical operation for each of the interval, at the end of the day, this is the formula to find the area under the curve by using multiple Simpson 1 over 3 rule. Okay, where you have x0 in front, we have the summation terms there. You have also another summation terms here and xn. Okay, so that is multiple Simpson 1 over 3 rule. Next is for Simpson multiple Simpson 3 over 8 rule and n here is multiple of 3 meaning that 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on okay so you can use this formula to find the area under the graph based on Simpson 3 over 8 rule okay again for octave remember octave cannot accept x0 then you must shift that x0 to x1 because it is always start by 1. So in this case, this will be fx1. Okay. And this will be changed also to be 2, 5, 8. And this also will be changed to be n minus 1. This will be changed to i from 3, 6, 9. This will be changed to n, okay. 4, 7, 10. This will be n minus 2. And this one will be x n plus 1. All of the indices will be shifted to 1. For octave, eh? not for your lecture. For octave, foots because we have problem of this either in method or in octave so similarly again like this eh? in this case 
we have to change this to be x1 this will be 2 4 6 this will be n this will be 3 5 7 this will be n minus 1 this will be n minus n plus 1 sorry so this the same also for this eh? we will look after this and this is will be x1 this will be x2 this will be x3 and this will be x4 all of the indices will be shifted to one okay what is that Boleh faham tak? Boleh. Okay. Boleh. Boleh eh? So kita ada dalam 15 minit lagi, tak lama pun. Okay. So uh, I will give you one example how to use this uh, knowledge in order to integrate one of the question given here. Yeah? So let's say you are given a very complicated integration and logically you cannot use your calculus yeah? Okay and if you want to integrate this by your calculator you can do that and i have obtained the formula from your calculator this is the exact value of that integration okay so the lower limit of this is 8 the upper limit is 30 and this is your integral function and your function is in terms of x eh? So we want to use a uh, trapezoidal rule, Simpson 1 over 3 and Simpson 3 over 8. And each of these, we have two methods. Eh? Remember, eh? you have single, multiple, single, multiple, single, multiple. So you have six methods eh? in total. So I will use Octave to perform that. So I will open Octave. Okay. So as usual, you have to type this eh, as usual. The clear CLC and so on. And this, uh, after this, you have to define your lower limit. Define the lower limit, which is your A. The upper limit, which is your B. For your number of interval, which is your n. So that's why I'm defining it as a, b, and n. And this m here is the formula of your integrand, okay, which is 2000. Maybe I have to open this and minimize this. Okay. 2000 times ln 140,000. You may see that here. 2000 times log. Eh? In octave, ln is represented by log eh? so that you must understand ln is log eh? so log 140,000 and suddenly I have division here yeah? but I have dot so why I have dot there why should I have put dot here because you will involve a matrix eh because your x here, nampak kat sini x, saya akan letak sini, nampak ni, x kat sini. Saya define kat bawah nanti ni, saya tak buat lagi. x here is defined as matrix A until H until B, okay? And why this, I don't put uh, dot, nampak ni, 2000 star, sepatutnya saya letak lah, sepatutnya dot kan? Why don't I have to put dot there? Why? Dekat sini ada dot pula. Ni, nampak ni, star dot. Ni pun star dot. Uh, division dot. But kat sini tak perlu ada dot. Kenapa? Ha, pening kan? Kenapa rasa-rasa itu? Anyone can answer? Because this part does not involve any x. But once I involve x here, then I have to put dot. Eh? Why I have to put dot? Because your x, yang saya belum terangkan lagi ni, this command will create matrix for x. 
Okay. This X will create a matrix. Okay. So uh, I will put my, I declare the exact value of the integration, which is from calculator. I use calculator to get the exact value, which is given like this. And now I will start to code for single trapezoidal rule. So I have to define my interval yeah, first. I have to define my interval. Define the in interval value, which is your h. So for single trapezoidal rule, h is equal to b minus a. If you remember that your uh, this this diagram for single trapezoidal rule, your n is equal to one, so your h will be b minus a lah. Okay, so that's why I define it b minus a and your x, eh? your x. If you remember this, so maybe I have to make this bigger. So this is your x started from a and ended by b. Eh? So if I put my command x, it is started by a and ended by b. And in order to get your b here, that will be, you have to add up by h, isn't it? Yeah. If let's say this is your a, lebar sini adalah h. Nak dapat nilai b tu dah tentu, b is equal to a plus h, isn't it? Betul tak? Betul tak? Ha. So that's why I have to put the command x a increased by h and ended by b. So that I can have a matrix x which is equal to a, a plus h and b. In actual ada dua saja kat sini pun. Okay. Okay, so that's why if, we, if you see here, this is A double dot H double dot B, then I'm using the formula that you get from the slide, which is this one. Okay. This formula in natural is half of your h times with your f x naught plus f x n in natural. Okay, but in uh, in octave you can use x naught. This is must be f x one plus f x n plus one. Okay. So see carefully. Okay, that's why I'm you put here the formula is half of h, h over two, times m x one, which is this one, x one plus x m x n plus one. Nampak ni? Eh, where my n is defined at the top to be one. Okay, so if I run this, if I run this. So maybe I have to open that bracket and I run this. You may see that the area is by using single trapezoidal rule is one one eight six eight, whereas the actual the exact value the exact value is one one zero six one. So you may see that uh, quite a lot of error, eh? because the actual is 11061. By using single trapezoidal rule, the area is estimated to be 11868. Ada banyak beza lah, eh? beza dekat dekat 800 lebih. Eh? Okay. So in order to find the error, so how to find the error? Okay, maybe I have to use a uh, uh, MMT slide so that I can write error can be defined through error 
percentage of true error is defined by taking absolute the exact value minus the approximate value divided by the exact value close by the absolute times 100 lah. okay so if i convert this into uh, octave code then it will be represented by this line lah. error is equal to absolute exact minus the approximate value so approximate value i use this uh, variable to hold the value divided by exact value and times 100 okay. so if i open this bracket we may see that how much is the error so i will run this code and run selection the error is about 7.3 percent okay. so meaning that by using single trapezoid rule i overestimate the area from the exact by 7.3 percent and quite large okay. so why not we use uh, multiple C, uh, multiple trapezoid rule to make our calculation much more better okay so again open back my slides and see the multiple multiple trapezoid rule where is it i think this one yes this one okay so better i it is all of this so that you can see much clearer. Okay, this is the formula. Okay. And I put the formula inside this. Okay. And remember that your H here will be B minus A over N. Eh? Yang itu jangan lupa. Eh? Ni, H is equal to B minus A over N. You must put that. And your x will be the same from a incremented by h and ended by b and this formula i will put in um, octave you may see that h over 2 will be h over 2 times m x1 remember that this is x naught we must uh, shift it to be 1 so that's why i have x1 here yeah? plus 2 times remember this is a summation so I put, I use um, octave command sum, fx varying from 2, remember this i1 will be shifted to 2, so that's why I have 2 here, and ended to n minus 1 plus 1, eh? we must shift here to be n, not n plus minus 1, but will be n, plus fxn, and this n must be shifted to n plus 1, that's why I have n plus 1. Right? So if I find the error and let's say I put the how many division I, I want, maybe I want to put 4 equal division. Yeah? I divide the, the area to 4 equal divisions and let's, let's see what will happen. Okay, we run this. Uh, run selection. You may see that the area is reduced from 7% kalau saya tak silap tadi now to be 0.4% why? the area produced by this multiple trapezoid rule will be 1112 and the actual value is 11061 almost the same but still have error lah. I still have error this is based on 4 equal division if let's say I change this to be let's say 10 lebih halus lagi lah you bagi eh so ini saya clear kan ni saya clear kan ni I will run this again and see what will happen if I'm using 10 the area will be reduced tadi kalau tak silap saya 0.4 kot now to be much more lesser 0.074% uh, eh uh, the area is estimated to be 11069 uh, exact tadi berapa? 11061 eh? exact so maybe I want to do the exact value I type exact so the exact value is 11061 tak banyak beza lah eh? so if you want to improve further maybe I can change this to be 5 let's say much more big, uh, bigger value and we run this again Wow, the area is reduced from 0.07% to 
to 0.01 Uh, which is uh, a the integration to be estimated as 11062 the exact one is 11061 ada kat dekat ni eh cuba kalau kita kecil uh, kita besar lagi okay. let's say 40 maksudnya you punya area tu is divided by 40 equal interval eh? memang betul-betul halus lah so we try to find the area and should be the error will be reduced lah eh 0.004% memang cukup halus lah eh this is 1106 so you can further improve the solution by increasing this n value eh but this is based on multiple trapezoidal rule yeah i'll clear this next we move to the simpson 1 over 3 single eh so single in 1 over 3 is starting by 2 eh Starting by 2, remember that our nodes Mana tadi? Ah, ni This is single So better I release ah, okay. This is single 1 over 3 roll the, the area is divided into 2 eh? So Your formula also must be started by 2 Okay And H is B minus A over N B minus A over N If you see, see the formula is equal to b minus a over n okay where your n is 2 lah h will be uh, defined starting from a incremented by h and ended by b lah and the formula for that will be apa ni uh, kita tengok formula atas ni h over 3 times f x not eh. x not can be, cannot be accepted by uh, octave must be x1 plus 4 times x2 nampak eh from 1 now to be 2 and from 2 now to be n plus 1 lah kenapa saya tak terus letak 3 because I have I know that my n is 2 so this will be automatically n plus 1 which is 2 plus 1 3 lah ok so we can uh, run this and see what will happen we run this code before that I have to open this so that we can see the error and the output the error is reduced even though you just use two equal division only but the error is quite quite improved so if you remember by using trapezoid in order to get such error i have to use a larger bit of n here So, but using a very small value of n in Simpson 1 over 3, it is quite uh, promising yeah? because the area will be 11065. The exact is 11061, hampir-hampir sama. Eh? But using very small n value compared to single trapezoidal. Eh? So let's say I change this. Remember, uh, I cannot change this. I have to change that one by using Simpson 1 over 3 multiple. Okay. 1 over 3 multiple, remember the slide. Okay. It's better I delete this. N will be multiple of 2 and this is the formula to find the area. Okay. Sama ada nak gunakan ini pun boleh. Okay. So the formula is H over 3 times this eh, where, where you have 4 times this one. Remember that this is I starting from 1 but here I have to start from 2. You must add up by 1. Eh. N minus 1 will be N. Can you see that? Eh? And here I have 2 times sum 3 eh, ended by N minus 1. And you may see that I have 2 here. Why I put here two? Because the number is starting from two four six, so the number will be added by two. So two plus two you get four, four plus two you get six. Eh? So similarly, use the same thing goes to this three five seven. Eh? So in order to get five, you have to add three by two. So that's why I put two here. And the last one for this formula is xn so that will be xn plus 1 okay so all of the value will be shifted by 1 and if let's say i put here 
DC katalah empat saja eh gandan dua saja eh uh, I have to remove this and yeah, I run this so by using four just four only the error is quite quite reduced nampak eh very fast met this method just using four if you use trapez uh, single tra uh, multiple trapezoidal method jangan haraplah dengan empat you akan dapat error sebegini eh maybe you have to use 25 30 and so on but using multiple one over three simpson rule just four divisions then you get a very promising answer yeah because the error is quite reduced eh? the actual the the estimate value is this and the exact one is 11061 memang hampir hampir sama yang belakang lagi beza sikit eh so if let's say i put it if you run confirm lagi lagi hebat lah eh error reduce eh and then it is almost the same with your exact value okay that is 1 over 3 multiple okay i clear this next we go to the single 3 over 8 simpson eh? so where is it where is the slide uh, i think this one so better i change simpson 1 over 3 single eh? yang ini kot ok so you are divided into 3 equal division and this is the formula sama ini atau ini pun boleh ok so started by 3 eh, sebab bagi 3 and remember that the formula is 3 over h times h 3 over 8 times h mx1 this is fx0 so must be incremented by 1 this is fx2 nampak ni 2 and this is 3 this must be x plus 1 lah uh, n plus 1 lah sebab sini dah ada 3 so 3 uh, n plus 1 equal 4 lah. so if you run so better if I remove this again and I will run this it's better I ok I will run this by using three equal division, the error is quite small. Okay. 11063. Exact is 11061. So, okay. In order to improve, we will use Simpson 308 multiple. Gandaan 3. Okay. This formula, you can refer to the slides. I think the last slide. Uh, this, this slide, I think. Or oh, this one. This slide. The formula to find the area by using multiple Simpson 3 over 8 is 3 over 8 fx0. So 3 over 8 times mx1, eh, we cannot use 0. So starting from 2, 5, 8. So starting from 2 until n minus 1. Eh, and each of the number is incremented by 3. Nampak ni? 3. Eh. Next one is plus 3 times from 3 until n 3 until n and each of the number beza dia 3 eh. and tambah lagi ada summation lagi kat belakang tu which is from 4 until n minus 2 from 4 until n minus 2 setiap nombor dia berbeza sebanyak 3 and the last one will be n plus 1 lah n plus 1 eh? so I have to remove this remove this and we can now able to change this value of n but dalam gandan 3 so maybe we will start with 6 and see what is the answer oops I have to ok by using 6 you get a very good answer eh? Because the answer of x is 11061. Uh, using this method, using three uh, six equal division, you get almost equal. Eh, cuma beza kat sini sikit lah. So kalau nak improve, maybe you can change this to be 12. Maybe, let's see, dan nanti. Eh, almost equal with the x lah. 
Ya, yang ni eh. So, very. Okay. Nampak eh? Okay, so uh, in actual, I'm, uh, I have more, I don't want to see that value. So, let's see if I close this. Oh, sorry. Okay, so if we run, I will run as a whole code and you may see that the answer eh, for each of the method. So if I'm using single trapezoidal, sepatutnya ayat ni panjang eh, tapi tak tahu kenapa dia terangkit. Single trapezoidal rule, when the n is equal to 1, my error is 7.3%. If I'm using multiple trapezoidal rule as i said this is uh, the something wrong with the display sepatutnya multiple eh. i'm using 40 equal division then my error is very very small 40 bau error saya okay eh. if i'm using simpson 1 over 3 rule single by using two division the error is quite small dua saja yang ini nak dapat error seperti ini kena betul-betul banyak eh. If I'm using Simpson 1 over 3 multiple, I'm just using 8, my error is very small. Right? And this is the answer. Uh, the exact answer is, uh, as you said, kalau saya tak silap, is 1061. Okay? And you may see that for Simpson 3 over 8, uh, single, gunakan 3, error is small. But using 12, the error is very, very small. Because the answer is quite similar to the exact. Okay? Okay, hopefully you can understand. So that will be our lecture for today. And uh, I will give you the attendance in your WhatsApp group after this. So any question to ask before I end the lecture? Is there any question before I end the lecture? Okay. Yeah. Uh, video minggu lepas ke upload lagi kat uh, video minggu lepas saya tak upload tapi saya masukkan video yang saya buat personal tanpa gunakan teams sebab yang itu lebih baik lagi daripada video yang saya bagi kat you saya letak dalam youtube uh, okay. ada empat video uh, tentang ODI tetapi itu bukan gunakan teams itu saya guna personal saya punya pada budak-budak tahun lepas lah tapi you all boleh pakai juga benda yang sama saja saya rasa video tu lebih jelas lagi daripada Teams. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, boleh eh. So, video tu ada dalam YouTube. You boleh masuk dan you boleh tengok. Ada empat video. Separate. Bukan satu video, empat separate. Sebab bila buat personal tu, saya tak boleh buat banyak-banyak sekali. Sebab dia pakai memori yang besar. Saya pecahkan kepada empat video. Okay, so, okay. boleh pakai yang tu juga. Tak ada masalah. So, saya rasa tak perlu upload yang, tapi minggu ni saya akan upload yang ni lah. Yang saya ajar sekarang ni lah. Okay. Dah. Okay. Ada sebuah soalan sebelum saya tutup dan tolong buka WhatsApp eh. Sebab saya nak masukkan link untuk attendance eh. Ada sebuah soalan? Sir. Kepada, okay. Sebelum tu, kepada siapa-siapa yang belum hantar assignment, saya pohon hantar lah assignment, lewat sikit pun tak apa, saya faham. Sebab kadang-kadang yang tak faham, tak faham boleh saya tanya saya direct. Tapi saya pun cara, kebanyakan cara saya mengajar you adalah saya suka you buat, kemudian you tunjuk hasil tu kepada saya. Saya tak suka nak entertain orang tak buat apa, kemudian tanya terus, ah, itu saya tak berkenan. Saya suka kalau you buat, you tunjuk hasil kerja you dulu, saya layan. Ha, itu cara saya. Sebab saya nak you cuba. Kalau you tanya tanpa sebarang pengetahuan, unfair lah. So, saya nak at least kalau nak bertanya tu boleh. Tapi pastikan buat dulu, tersekat, baru tanya saya. Bukan tak tahu langsung nak tanya. Ha, itu payah. Okay? Okay. 
Sir. Sir. Ni ya ya. Kenapa kalau apa saya kalau I? Kalau apa kalau apa? Apa saya dia ada keluar I? You punya uh, team ni? Ha? Huh? You punya apa keluar I? Dekat output, output saya. Oh, you punya keluar I. I tu maksudnya you punya nombor tu adalah uh, you pernah tak belajar dulu tentang ni uh, imaginary number, complex number. Pernah belajar tak complex number? Tak pernah. Tak pernah. Uh, you pernah tak terfikir nak cari punca kuasa benda-benda bernilai negatif? Pernah tak dengar benda tu? Belajar matematik. Punca ya. kuasa negatif satu. I sama dengan negatif satu tu lah? Ah, sebab berkemungkinan bila you kira dengan oktif, bila dia dapat punca ganda negatif satu, dia terus tulis jadi I. So ada salah kira lah tu. Adalah benda tak betul tu. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, itu sebab you dapat I. I tu stand for imaginary. Uh, pernah belajar kan? Tiga campur empat I, lima tulak dua I. Ada belajar kot matematik. Complex number. You belajar pasal argument, conjugate. Ada. Mungkin you lupa juga. Okay, terima kasih. Okay. So, ada apa-apa lagi soalan? Boleh kita tanya? Tak ada masalah. Ada apa-apa soalan? Okey kalau tak ada apa-apa soalan uh, tolong buka WhatsApp sebab saya nak letakkan uh, link untuk attendance eh. So saya akhiri uh, kuliah ini dengan uh, surah Warasi dan Tasbih Kifar. Okey Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.